Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course teaching you everything you need to know about this program. If you enjoyed today's lesson, be sure to check out the link in the description for the full Masterclass course. What's going on guys? So cracking on with our Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. Next section, we're going to be having a little dive into an overall little peek into some methods you can use is the speed adjustment, speed manipulation, overall all the video speed aspects that Adobe Premiere Pro actually offers you and all the speed manipulation and kind of tools you can use to tweak various different projects to your liking in terms of speed. And I'm going to be running through first off the basic speed adjustments available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. And the ones I'm talking about can be easily accessed. So this right here is our example clip that I'm actually just going to be using to demonstrate um, basically some of these basic speed adjustments that you can actually go about using. So if you guys go ahead and right click on the clip, um, whichever clip you want to actually mess with the speed of, by the way, you do have to click onto the actual just general space of the clip. For example, if you right click over here, when this, when this kind of symbol here comes up to trim, you'll get totally different stuff. Likewise, if you right click on the FX, you'll get totally different stuff. So you guys got to right click on the actual clip itself and just go ahead over here to speed slash duration, give that a click and you will be actually opening up the basic speed adjustment tools available to you with an Adobe Premiere Pro. So let me walk through this. First off, I would advise you guys to always keep this link ticked right here. Um, always keep that ticked just for uh, the specific reason that this ties your duration to your speed. So for example, if we make the speed 50%, aka we're slowing it down by half, it's going to double the size of the clip because that's what should really happen. However, if we were to not have that linked right there and put this on 50, okay, it's just going to make it 50 but not change the size of the clip for us, which personally, that's not working out for me. And overall, I can't see that working out for you guys in any projects, really. It's just overall the most uh, basic or, or the, the most kind of no-brainer to keep this one ticked at all times so you guys are keeping consistency throughout your duration and your speed. Now, I kind of just exampled it there and showed it off to you, but to change the speed, that's all you do. So to, uh, you know, drop it to half percent or 50% or rather would be uh, two times the speed of slow-mo. So it would be slow-mo at 50, aka that's going to be half the speed. Also, seeing as 100% is regular speed, if we were to go to 200%, that's going to be double the speed. And there you go. Obviously, it's, you know, shrunk that down in accordance to the fact that we told it that it's double the speed. And these right here are the basic speed adjustments, okay? And those are essentially those right there. The other kind of cool feature the speed duration actually has is the reverse speed. This can definitely lag your stuff quite a lot. But if you guys go ahead and click reverse speed, this will obviously just reverse the clip. You can see how it is definitely lagging a lot right now based on the fact that it has to kind of re-figure out what the hell this clip is even doing, but I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Go ahead and right-click again and show you guys the second method of how you could do this, and that would be just to add a minus to whatever the number in your speed percentage is. For example, if we wanted this to, um, to be reverse, but still the same speed, we would just go minus 100, and that's going to do the same thing. It's going to do minus 100, and it's going to start reversing that clip because it's obviously going in the opposite direction direction. So if we wanted to undo that, um, and once we put that minus, by the way, it will instantly tick the reverse speed because it's telling it that that's the command that we need to do. In terms of time interpolation down here, I always leave my stuff on frame sampling. Frame blending is okay, but honestly, I think sometimes it might just be in my head that I'm seeing different results for these. So I'm always leaving it on frame sampling, and I would advise you guys, based on all my previous knowledge, to do the same. However, I am oftentimes not even using the clip slash speed duration and the basic speed adjustments. I'm usually trying to go about this um, and trying to go about my speed manipulation in a different way. But I've just quickly showed you guys through the basic speed adjustments and the basic speed manipulation factor available to you with an Adobe Premiere Pro. And that is the right clicking on the clip and going to speed slash duration. And uh, then you can actually alter these particular changes they give you. However, there's a much more professional, better way of actually increasing or decreasing speed. And um, overall, you know, using the speed manipulation available to you in Adobe Premiere Pro in a much more professional way. And that is using the speed ramps. And that's exactly what we're going to crack on with in the next lecture. Boom, there you have it guys. That is another lesson done 
out of the Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course that is 100% free on my channel. Uh, there's a complete playlist literally working through everything from the most possible basic things available in Adobe Premiere Pro, like, you know what I mean, creating a new project, uh, you know, all the way to the most advanced stuff available to you in the entire program. We're literally breaking through the entire thing. If you haven't already gone over and checked out that playlist, then by all means, if you've made it to this point in the video, I would 100% urge you to. Seriously, this is an extremely useful playlist. By all means, uh, you know, even if you know the, the very basics, uh, you know what I mean? You can go here and just, uh, you know, pick and choose which lessons to actually partake in. It's not all extreme basic stuff. It, it uh, is sequential. So at the very bottom of the playlist, it is the most basic stuff and it's essentially working its way up to the most advanced stuff available in the entire um, uh program Adobe Premiere Pro CC. And um, you know what I mean? Essentially, we're just consistently adding videos to this playlist, working our way up to the most advanced stuff. Obviously, I've already created the entire course. It's over seven plus hours. It is also available on Udemy. Um, and uh, basically, I'm just uh, taking my turn, uh, taking my time to upload this content here, keep on putting it into this playlist, and then uh, once I've actually built up kind of like a, a, a let's say 50 plus uh, videos, all basically little mini lessons breaking down this entire program, then I'm going to start pushing a lot of promotional content uh, on my actual, you know what I mean, you, you, uh, YouTube channel, just kind of pushing and directing you guys um, to this particular playlist. And basically just trying to direct as many people as I can to this playlist because uh, you know what I mean I, I originally created this project as part of some commission work for a, uh, a really big Udemy um, instructor who was actually looking to branch off into creating content about you know subjects he didn't actually know about uh, etc so I was hired to create this whole project we worked on this entire thing together for him to actually sell on Udemy, but for me to actually just give away to you guys. Obviously, I could have sold this thing if I wanted to. I decided I didn't want to actually, uh, you know, try actually just get like a, you know, five dollars a pop for it, ten dollars a pop for it, whatever. Uh, you know what I mean? Whatever price I set it as. Instead, I thought there was much more value just in actually giving the whole thing away, seeing as I'd already, you know what I mean, had some sort of monetary gain from it by the fact that I was actually hired to create this um, kind of big intricate project and kind of create the whole lesson plan, everything for this really big creator over on Udemy who literally has hundreds of thousands of students uh, that he's taught various different topics to across the years. Obviously, like I said, he brought me on as I was kind of like uh, somebody who had knowledge in an area that he did not. We created the whole seven plus hour course. By all means, go to the playlist and check it out. It is the full Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course. If you guys know even loads about Adobe Premiere Pro, go click on the course. You will see a couple videos that you maybe didn't realize. I literally spent fucking hours combining all of my knowledge, uh, you know what I mean, into uh, of Adobe Premiere Pro, all the tips, tricks, and hacks I've picked up throughout using this in my day-to-day -day profession for the past years, uh, you know what I mean? So there's a huge amount of knowledge that I compiled into this thing. Overall, very helpful to anybody who likes Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm now gonna leave the trailer that actually went onto uh, Udemy, the actual trailer that you can kind of watch before buying the course over on Udemy for the big instructors page just so you guys can get a little bit more enticed if you're even still watching at this point, by all means, I'm sure a bunch of you are. Uh, enjoy the trailer, but the trailer is basically gonna tell you everything I, I just told you now. Go over, check out the playlist in the description, the complete Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course of 2018. Here we go. Really hope you guys enjoy and find it helpful. Thanks for watching. I'm Jack. Have a nice day, guys, and take it easy. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Jack, and welcome to the Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course. I'm a freelance video editor slash videographer as well as YouTuber with 70,000 subscribers producing weekly content based around video production, and I'm going to be your tutor for this particular course, and we're going to be walking through everything together from the most basic to the most advanced of video editing tactics available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. We are going to start off with the introduction section where we get all the basics out the way and by the end of even this first section, you will have edited together your first basic sequence. And the list of things that I can guarantee you will know how to do by the end of this Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course 
ranges from such a huge amount of stuff, including a full understanding of all the tools and shortcuts available to you with an Adobe Premiere Pro, a complete understanding of animated titles, how to create basic ones all the way to advanced ones, how to create custom transitions, where we actually have hands-on activities to do this together, creating those custom transitions, as well as, of course, utilizing those basic default video and audio transitions. You will also have an understanding of the difference between color correction and color grading and also how to utilize both of these video editing and overall color improvement tactics in Adobe Premiere Pro. You will also have complete hands-on understanding of keyframe animation, whether that be using keyframes to lower the decibels of soundtracks, all the way to using keyframes to animate clip dimensions and of course animating text as previously mentioned. You will then have a complete understanding of exporting, whether that be general exporting, exporting for specific platforms using presets or even exporting in the maximum possible render quality available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. You will then have a complete and intricate understanding of video speed and the speed manipulation tactics available to you in this program, whether that be using your simple reverses, your simple speed changes, or even the super advanced speed ramps and speed ramp transitions, which I am going to extensively get into in the video speed section of this course. We are then going to, in section 9, do all the ins and outs of advanced video effects, whether that be simply the VFX section all the way to all of the most user-friendly and time-saving methods. I have personally had to learn the hard way, but I've compiled all of these kind of cheat sheets into that advanced effects section to be saving you guys so much time throughout your creative process in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're then going to uh, actually complete an outro of the course to summarize everything you have learned and you will know how to do, as well as including a master project, which is kind of going to be an unfiltered, kind of raw, hands-on experience and overall how letting you guys get an insight into what my actual real life live almost unedited raw video editing and creative process is going to look like in terms of creating a project for a client that I would actually be creating normally. Without further ado guys, there is so much in store for this Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. I can't wait to jump into it. And with that being said, let's do it.